All right, well, hello again, my friends. We're back. Another great American crap here with Kyle. I've uh, been under the weather for about a week. A uh, nasty bronchitis cough. That's why you haven't seen me doing any beers or doing any reviews, nothing like that. This is my first beer and probably first alcohol I've drank in, in nine days. If one can believe that, that is that is a almost a adult record for me. I'm not proud to say that, but uh, it is Christmas Eve morning here. Tri-State, the sun is up. Uh, a little chilly, mid-20s. Uh, gotta love that last minute shopping. Just went to Kroger, got this beer I'm about to review, and some other gifts, and finished it up. Uh, hectic out there, as I'm sure most Americans are doing the same thing. So, Merry Christmas Eve, and hope everyone has a great uh, day and a great holiday. Uh, for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, picked up one that I have not actually checked in on our tab. I've had this beer, but not had it this season. It is the, it's from the Line and Kugels Brewing Company. It's their Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. Now, I've had this beer before several years ago. I thought it was respectable. Uh, I have not checked it in. I was just looking at my untapped records. Certainly not reviewed this. So that's a robust porter aged on real vanilla. Uh, the beer checks in at 6% even alcohol by volume. That's a little spike for lining Kugels. Uh, right here on the bottle it says clearly enjoyed by March 12, 2018. So plenty of time there. Uh, you know, this. a lot of people like this beer. It's... Actually, their second most popular beer was on their untapped page. Of course, Summer Shandy by far. Everybody loves that beer. And that dominates the chicken. But I've had this before. It's respectable. A pretty good porter with a vanilla flavor. So let's go ahead and get into it. It's the Lining Kugel's Winter Seasonal Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. Now, here's our Lining Kugel's bottle cap there. Again, this is mass produced. Uh, not really a rarity, but for value. And again, I hate to really go value. I was talking to a couple guys. Last week at Jungle Gems, and there's the pour here. See if you can see the color. It does pour relatively thin for a porter. Yeah, it almost. It's almost, almost like a dark brown ale. I may have been over aggressive with that pour there, and that color is very light for a porter too. Yeah, almost like a dark brown ale. And it is listed as a porter, snowdrift vanilla. Now, again, talking to a couple of guys on. I mean, Talking about like when you review a beer, do you, do you input, do you put value as a as a criteria? And I really hate to put money on it because you're gonna pay money for good beer. That's just it. I mean, you're gonna pay for what you get in life, not just beer, but in life, anything you do is gonna get paid for what you get, and that's that's a good lesson in life. But I feel like some beers, Christmas beers in particular, I've seen some companies where they're selling Christmas bombers or Christmas porters for 15 bucks a bomber. Now, again, a little higher ABV, nine ten percent, but this line of Kugel's beer is very good, and you can get a six-pack for nine bucks. So just doing the basic math on that, you know, a bombing for 15 or a six-pack for nine, I'm leaning towards the line of Kugel's. Now, those beers are definitely more crap. I mean, the line of Kugel's, it's crap beer, but it's not anything exquisite. And everybody knows that, but uh, that's kind of where I'm getting at. And you hate to throw value out there, and uh, that's uh, I've always been a big part of that. If you can get a good beer for nine or ten bucks, a six-pack as opposed to a $15 bomber. And a lot of those bombers, nobody's really ever tried. I mean, that's, that's the key to that. So, here's the pour. Nice amount of head. I tell you what. It made about a, you know, a half finger of a nice beige color head. Some lovely carbonation. Presentation-wise, this looks excellent. Uh, got a quick nose here and see if we get the vanilla porter. You know, a lot of, uh, some good roasted malts in there. Of course, I'm stuffed up, so I don't know how much of a palate I have, but, uh, Let's say cheers to the Brewers of Line and Kugels. They put in a, a lot of beer. They they ma they mass produce a ton of beer. And I want to thank them for their hard work and, and the mass production of Summer Sandy. This beer, all their beers are just mass produced nationwide. So cheers and again, happy holidays everybody. Here we go. Yeah, I... Uh, you know, that's not a bad beer. I think it's it's drinkable. Uh, to me, it's it's not a brownie, although I really don't get even with the color. I don't get a lot of, uh, it's not a lot as much of a porter to me. There's a hint of vanilla, which is nice. Uh, like I said, I've had this before. 6% alcohol by volume. Uh, had this one before. It's a good beer. Uh, I'm probably going to say it's a B. I mean, it's not anything crazy. Uh, but it's not a bad beer. I think it's respectable. It's a go-to. You know, I had a couple of friends earlier this year in the Christmas season. Well, maybe early in November. And uh, 
he's getting in the crap here. He was a Bud Miller like guy all the last year, and he texted me and said, "Man, this line could go snowed up in the border. Excellent." And I said, "Yeah, it's good." I mean, like I said, there I had it, and he was raving about it. And, and then it's like, but then you get into some other porters and other Christmas beers and winter seasonals that are this better. But this is not bad. I mean, I think this is a good introductory beer, as most line and Kugel beers are. If you're trying to get off the Butter Miller kick and get into craft beer, perhaps this is a good, respectable beer. Uh, nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, Yeah, I think it's a good beer. I give it a B. It really, it really is a good beer around the holidays. Like, yeah, it's not as full body, but it does remind you of Christmas time, uh, winter time, especially up in Wisconsin where this brewery is. So, very well done. Give it a B. And that's gonna be about it. Nothing. Like I said, there's other better porters out there, better Christmas beers out there. But this is a good introductory beer, and also just one to have. If, like you said, if you don't want to go spend 15 bucks for a bomber and want to share a six pack with friends on a cheap night. Very good go-to beer, so nothing wrong with it. Give it a B, and that's going to be it, folks. But uh, Merry Christmas again, everybody, and I do have a Ryan guys in there I may tap into here later this morning as well, uh, here this afternoon as well. So that's going to do it. Good to be back bringing a beer. So cheers, everybody, and we'll see you guys soon. Uh, again, life's too short, my friends, and we must be happy, and that includes drinking good craft beer from the Wine and Google's Brewing Company. Cheers, no doubt. See you guys. Later.